What is up you guys, my name is Newbie Pro, and we're getting back into Unturned. Now, I know I promised some other series, and trust me those series will be coming, but um, series like Miscreated, those take a while to edit, so like I have to record a whole bunch, and then um, I have to like edit it all together, and I have like special little things that I want to do in After Effects to throw those into videos and stuff like that, and just make it look really cool. Uh, so those videos will probably only be once a week, and those will probably, probably, excuse me, be my my friday uploads but for you know like monday tuesday wednesday all those you know the regular weekdays um i'm thinking about a little bit of unturned a little bit of some other games just kind of you know episodes that i can just throw together really quickly so here we are we're in unturned it's been a while uh if i remember correctly my character is a farmer and i want to keep him that way i did change his look a little bit i gave him a little beard i gave him some hair made it a little bit more brown because i think last time it was like a dark brown i made it like a little bit more red uh, but I made him a farmer, like I had said, changed a little bit of his look, and um, this map isn't super new, it's been a little while since it's been out, but they just uh, kind of recently added um, a new official map, Germany, which I really do want to play, I haven't played it yet, um, and I know we had our um, Hawaii series going on, but seeing as how that's kind of an outdated map now, uh, and it's not exactly an official map, it's curated, uh, I thought we'd just go and play the new official map because we you know we have all the other ones and I just I want to try out Germany I know a little bit about Hawaii by now um, But Germany seems really cool. So we're just gonna hop right into it. We are playing on hard, but I, I only have cheats enabled by the way guys so I can do like Third person stuff. Excuse me. So I can do like third person stuff um, So like when I'm doing my outro or something you guys can see me and it's it's chill <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna hop into it uh, hard mode. Yeah, let's go Okay, so we're officially in Germany. Uh, wow, this map actually looks really good so far. I mean, I haven't really gone anywhere yet. Um, we got our farmer clothing or farmer clothing on. I don't know why I can't speak. I'm just gonna make that into rags and craft a, you know, a bandage rag thing right now, uh, just in case we need it. But I want to go. I want to go explore. So I don't know much about this map. I have seen a tiny little bit of gameplay. Oh, I already got a town. Tiny little game, a bit, a bit of gameplay. Not too much. Not anything like spoilery. Um, it's just something I was bored. Decided to watch a little bit of it. Um, but nothing crazy. Like I don't know anything. Like if there's any Easter eggs on this map, I don't know any. Coalition sign right there. Um, oh, oh, it's a car. No wheels though. I mean, there's two in the in the back, but I don't know the front now. Oh, I do see that one zombie. I want to know if I can maybe re Yeah, I can. All right, so I'll reach that flare. I'm going to throw it out there so that the... Yeah, that guy right there. And then see if I might... Nope. Nope, that was a bad idea. No, 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 no. We got to get out here. Uh, I'm really trying to play this safe, guys. I don't feel like... Oh, there's a bus, too. Uh, anyway, like I said, I'm really trying to play this safe. I'm just going to try to get out of their aggro zone so that I don't get hit or anything. Jesus, they really want to chase me, huh? Oh, I might, I might already die. Oh, this is so bad. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Go away. No. Go away. Go away. Oh, God. Oh, they go so far. Oh, gee. All right. Wow. Okay. Wow. We're already down to 72 HP. At least I'm not bleeding. That's why I didn't use the rag. He's still coming after me. I don't think so. Wow. Okay. I thought that was going to go really smooth and it went really bumpy, I guess. Wow, that flare did not work as well as I thought. Maybe I should have thrown it farther. I don't know. Maybe we can try looting one of these houses and getting a melee weapon that'll make it a lot easier. Oh, there's a flaming zombie over there. There's another coalition sign. Now, like I said, I don't know the story of this map. I don't know where, like, the coalition fits in at all. Because uh, I know in Russia, there's the coalition, um, the ship that you can just go onto. Um, and that's where all the coalition guys are. And then there's, like, little Easter eggs and stuff you can do in Russia. I know all that. But I don't know really anything about if there is at all any Easter eggs in uh, Germany. So this will uh, this will be interesting. Now, I wish I had a map or something like a chart or a GPS just so I could know where I am. I actually don't. I, I mean, this looks like a big city, so it's probably like a main one. I don't know exactly what it is. Oh, flanker. Oh, we got to go. Jesus, they're everywhere. I mean, it makes sense. It's hard mode, but oh, wow, oh wow. This might be death if I'm not careful. I gotta be like so careful. I think my biggest concern right now is just trying to get clothes. Okay, they're, they're already going away. But I think my biggest concern right now is trying to get some clothes and rip them up 
so I can make a bed roll. And if I die, so be it. I'll be right outside the town. I'll lose a little bit of um, skill points, but that's not the end of the world. I can always get it back. Plus, you know, once you get weapons and stuff, it's not exactly hard. It's just, it's starting off. That's extremely difficult. But I don't know. We got to find like one. Maybe I should try being more stealthy, crawling, uh, proning. Should try some of that. I don't, I don't need to rush my way into these buildings. Oh, and there's a flamer. It's not even worth my time. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to. Oh, this is so like scary. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna try getting back. Nah, you know what? That house didn't have anything good. I checked the kitchen. I don't think there's gonna be anything upstairs. So maybe I'll just try to sneak into another house. But I wanna stay away from that flamer right there, because if he explodes, I am probably gonna die. I do have my rag in case of bleeding, but that's that's probably not gonna happen. I'll probably just instant die. So I really oh I don't like them being anywhere near me right now. I do like the look of that bus. That bus looks like it would be a fun vehicle. I don't know though. Maybe I'll just stick with a uh, like a pickup truck or something if I can find one, because pickup trucks are the number one zombie apocalypse vehicle. There's the German flag there. And then we have a school, so maybe maybe this school will have like a hockey stick or something. Actually, what is this? A hammer! That works, actually. But it's not the greatest melee weapon. Let me check. Um, no, I just got some rope on me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I mean, I'm glad I found this hammer. So at least I'm not fighting them with my fist. I'm going to go up the slide because I'm a rebel. But at least I'm not fighting the zombies with my fists. That's definitely a plus. Now I'm going to prone. I'm just going to stick real close to the ground. And I got to remember if I get spotted, I'm not going to be able to run away in prone. I got to be fast about this. Is there anybody in this room? It doesn't look like it. Maybe I can crouch. Looks like there's a juice box. Oh, that's good too. I can drink that. Good. Okay. Uh, anything else? Oh, another one? Yes! It's another good juice box. We're getting lucky. Okay, so now I have drinks, so at least if I start dehydrating, I have, um, I have drinks that I could use. Uh, I'm- I want to find a weapon, like a good one. Like, even just a kitchen knife would be fine. I'm not complaining that I have this hammer or anything, because that is going to help. Oh, another juice box? No, it was bad. I'm not going to take it right now. Man, this sucks. I- <laughs> Uh, beginning of hard mode is always hard, and probably hard to watch, to be honest, because I'll admit fully, like, you're not getting the exact same experience as I am, probably. Like, I'm scared right now, because I know that I gotta try my extra hardest to not be spotted, and if I am spotted... Uh, oh, is that a co Oh, that is! It's a coalition flag over there. That looks like a coalition building. Um, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're probably a fan of Unturned, and you know what the coalition is, but if you don't, um kind of generalizing here because i'm not super aware of it myself because i had taken a break when the coalition started coming into the game and when i got back into the game there wasn't really coalition on hawaii but they're basically like a paramilitary kind of deal like they're they're like heroes i guess they they work to fight the zombies um there's a fedora over here which i want to use to rip up i don't want to wear it i want to rip it up because I don't know how many, actually, how many rags do I need for a bed, bed roll? Yeah, I need nine rags. So that's gonna, that's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Um, ooh, binoculars, those are gonna be helpful, actually. But yeah, we already got two down. We just need seven more rags and then I can make a bed roll and I can be a lot. Basically, the trade-off here is being careful for being fun to watch. So being careful, I mean, unless that's your thing that you like watching is me sneaking around. I don't know why you would, because it seems kind of boring. I'm not even going to go in that house because the only entrance has a zombie right there. Whoa, is it underground here? How far does that go? Oh shit, that goes right. Oh, excuse my French. I'm actually trying to work on that. <laughs> not going to lie. I swear way too much. But yeah, that looks... uh. That looks cool. There's coalition signs everywhere pointing you right to the coalition building. I don't want to go in there because, oh, you know what? Is there a back door to this grocer? Because that guy's definitely going to spot me. But yeah, like I was saying, um, stealth is probably not the most fun thing to watch, at least not in this game. Because, like, it's just me sneaking around. But once I get a bedroll, again, like I said, um, I can trade off having to be careful for being fun to watch because, like, if I die, it's probably going to get a few laughs. Yeah, I can't get in here. Uh, if I die, it's probably going to be a few laughs. And um, and I'll actually be able to run around. Now, you know what? That laundromat is 
is really probably going to help us out. I hope there's more clothes in there because I'd really like to um, rip those into rags so I can make the the bedroll. I'm sorry, I'm just looking around. No, I don't know how I'm supposed to get in this coalition building. It looks like a big building too. There's a door there. Maybe I can just walk up to it and open it. I don't know. Anybody home? No, it looks like there's some glue. Okay, there's a shirt back there. Maybe I can stand? I don't want to be spotted. Let me just crouch back down. Blue shirt. I think that's only good for one rag, but you know what? I'm not complaining because it's one rag closer to nine rags. Anything else in here? No, there isn't. That sucks. But you know what? We'll salvage it. You know what? All right. I, hold on. I got four cloth here. Okay. That's going to help. Definitely gonna need the four. So you know what? We got four cloth. We're on our way to seven. We only need three more. Probably just like a good shirt or something to um ooh, to make the bedroll. We just find one good quality shirt. Ooh, some, oh, here's some cloth right here. Nice. Got a splint. Some purification tablets there in case I need to drink something that looks kind of gross. Oh, another piece of cloth. Nice. How many do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, three more. I think I was doing my math wrong earlier. I think I was trying to count to seven when I really need nine. Oh, go. Okay. All right, let me purification. Oh, he's slow, he's slow. I can just get up and walk out of here maybe. I don't want to go that way. I don't want to walk too close to these Zeds. Man, he's fast. Yeah, I mean, I just said he's slow, but like, He's faster than I anticipated, and I don't I don't like it because I don't I just gotta get out of his aggro range. I there's nothing else I can really do. I could fight him, get a little bit of experience, but that probably won't end well, quite honestly. No. Ooh. No, he's still chasing me. I thought maybe that was another zombie. Jesus, they got like spiked uh wood poles there. For blocking off bandits probably. I mean I doubt zombies are really a problem at this point because they've probably learned how to deal with zombies a little bit more efficiently by now um you know what why not crap well prone actually oh you know what is this another entrance no i think it's just another big door that i can't probably open i don't know if i actually can open this i haven't tried it but usually when there's a big gate and it's like the coalition usually you can't oh he's real close somebody on me thought i heard a zombie growl but Oh, somebody, somebody's upset, and I don't like the sound of it. Oh, oh, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, rag, okay. It's a good thing I had that. Wow, he he, he snuck right up on me. I was not ready for that at all. And that sucks, because that looked like a gun store, too, and I definitely could use a gun right now. Not that it would make much of a difference, because it would just be very loud, and it would just draw more zombies, too. You know what? I can probably fight this guy. There's no stunning, I forgot. Ugh. Here we go. Oh, four, five. Nice. Oh, and a rake. Oh, there's a flanker. No, no, no. We gotta go. Oh, jeez. I can't run. They're gonna catch up to me. I need to reach on stamina quickly. That flanker is really fast. Ah, uh, get away from me. I can't fight flankers. I'm so bad at fighting flankers. Go away. And I can't stun them either. So if I hit them, it doesn't even matter because he's just gonna... Yeah. Yeah, this is the end. No! Damn it! Oh, no. We were getting so close. We had so much gear. All right, you know what? That that was a that was a freebie. Give me give me. Well, okay, my whole game just froze. Then that was a freebie. Give me give me a a freebie on that. Now I think I see some cows in the distance, but I can't kill them with anything right now. But um, just it's been a while since I played on turn. I'm not bad. I promise. Just <laughs> let me get back into it. All right, now I think we're near another town. This might be the same town actually, but on turn doesn't usually do that. They don't usually spawn you in exactly the same place as you just were. I'm gonna go check that canoe because there might be a camp axe or something in there. Now, like I said, my main priority right now is just, do I get a new hat? I do. Now, I'm not going to turn this one into rags right now. If I need it, I will. Um, but I need to save it for the bedroll. Just in case. Now, I'm going to crouch down, actually. I might even prone because it sounds like there's zombies inside. And there was a zombie on the street earlier that I saw. I, I just want to be careful. Yeah, he's like right there. I think he just jumped up because he technically sensed me, but then the game was like, nah, give him a chance. That's <laughs> that's a little harder than hard mode. There's probably going to be a harder than hard mode at some point, like extreme or like survivor or something. Oh, 
I'm just gonna back away slowly. Uh, don't notice me, please. Don't notice me. I'm so scared. Okay, I think we're good. Oh man. Okay, I just I would just want to get a bedroll. That's my goal for this episode. Um, it's already been 15 minutes, you know, without any editing or anything, because there probably will be some editing here. Um, at least I'd hope, because this would be probably really boring to watch without editing. Um, where I'm just sitting here for like 20 minutes. You know what? I, I, I can't get past that guy, so I'm just gonna, just gonna slither on out of here. But, uh, yeah, it's already been about 15 minutes, and we've accomplished zero things because I died. Wow, that trash can just... Okay, just moving on. <laughs> that flamer. Oh, God, please don't notice me. Uh, dude, I'm being so stealthy right now. I'm practically solid snake. Oh, dude, I'm so scared. I'm at, like, I've never, I've never been scared of a game that's about cubes. But, uh, well, not cubes, but, like, cube people, I guess. This game is scaring me right now. Ooh. You know what? I never noticed that before. I think the grass actually moves. Yeah, it does. You can actually, like, the grass moves underneath you. Hmm. Maybe that's just when you have your graphics up on high, but yeah. Never noticed that before. Um, I don't even actually know what my graphics are at right now. I just kind of left it default when I installed um, Unturned again on my new computer. And I played it a little bit, but point is... I'm not exactly familiar with what my settings are. Now, I want to go in that grocery store where there's a flamer. Like, I really need a ranged weapon. Probably going to have to get, like, a bow or a crossbow. There's a taxi there that's missing a wheel. Probably doesn't have a battery in it either. But driving without wheels in this game is difficult. You know what? I'm going to crouch. I know this is risky, but... Let's gonna see if I can get in this house. I can. Now, let me... Please let me find some loot in here. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, a rake. That should probably help. I doubt it's going to be very effective, but it's better than fisticuffs. Anything? No. Doesn't look like there's anything there. Okay. I'm going to go... Is this an upstairs? Yeah, it is. I'm going to go upstairs and see what's there. Clothes? Anything? Please? Oh, a backpack. Now... I could rip that up more binoculars, I actually wanted that. Um, ooh, and a plaid shirt. Plaid is my favorite. Anyway, I could rip up that backpack and probably get some more cloth from it, but it also gives me a lot more space to carry gear. So I think I am just going to keep this day pack, because it's better than nothing. Uh, there's more binoculars. I could pick that up for scrap metal, but I probably won't right now. But I did get this other plaid shirt. Oh, I probably shouldn't have crafted that right here because if a zombie heard me, they would have come right after me and I wouldn't be able to do anything. But we have five rags. We need four more. I believe in myself. I really do. <laughs> I hope this is going to work out because I am startled to say the least right now. So it looks like there's a little cabin down here. Um, there's a zombie on the dock, but uh, maybe there will be some hunting gear in here. Maybe like a a gun. That's a, that's a real stretch, but maybe, maybe there will be a gun. But... I'd honestly prefer a crossbow right now because it's quiet and it probably won't kill a zombie in one shot, but it's better than nothing because at least I can damage them from far away. So is there anything in here? Please don't be a zombie. No, I don't even think there's any gear in here right now. Look up on this. No, nothing. All right. We need five more cloth. Five. Oh no, four more. Four more. I know math. I need four more cloth. That's it. No, I don't. I probably shouldn't be upright walking right now. I should probably crouch back down. But I don't see any zombies over here. So I feel like this area is relatively zombie free. I feel like they're more inside the town. I say that, and then I hear a zombie growl. So I'm gonna prone. Anything in the whatever this is? Dishwasher, probably. No. Stove, no. Cupboard, no. Oh, lettuce. Oh, Jesus. That's not even worth it. I'm just going to go over here. Um, I want to take that lettuce anyway so I can craft seeds and make um some good lettuce. Because good lettuce is a lot better than bad lettuce. And if I find more rope, because I did have some on my body when I died. But if I find more, I can make uh, fertilizer. I can use said fertilizer to grow that um, lettuce. Right? That's what it was. Yeah, lettuce grow that lettuce quicker doesn't seem to be anything over here oh some tape oh no it's a hammer 
Now, I feel like a hammer is probably a better melee weapon than a, than a rake. So, oh, oh, that scared me. I'm not even gonna lie. That one's not after me though, so I can take this slow guy out. So I'm just gonna let him hit me because they do a lot of damage. Nice, what I get, what I get, what is that? Another rake, Jesus, everybody rakes in this town. There's no leaves, I, mean, I guess there is some. Wow, that actually looks really good. But no, I'm talking about like over here. It's all just stones. You can't rake stones, silly. <laughs> anyway, all right. Cupboard, cupboard, fridge, stove, dishwasher, nothing. Come on, man. What did everybody? Oh, nice, nice. All right, you know what? This is the same dilemma, okay? This gives me space. It doesn't give me as much space as the backpack does, but it gives me more space. And I, I do have some space. I really do need that four cloth, so I think I'll just tear this sweater vest right now. So what do I have now? Six, seven, eight. I need one more cloth. That's it. That's all I need is one more. Oh, I hear a zombie. Please let there be some cloth over here. Why can't I just tear up this blanket? It'd be so good. I don't think I want to jump here, but I'm going to. Okay. Uh, I hear a zombie. I'm like, I'm trying really hard to be stealthy about this. Now, seeing as how we're getting more inside the town, there's a car over there and it looks like it's on all four wheels. Now we just need to find a battery, which probably is in some other cars. I need to, uh, I don't want these guys to see me, but you know what? Better safe than sorry. I'll just prone down. I mean, it takes a longer time, but it's more safe. They won't see me. I just gotta be extra careful. I just need one more rag and then we've completed today's assignment, basically. Uh, which is just get a bedroll. Now that's probably, I mean, coming from me, who is an absolute noob, even though I like to say I'm good at Unturned, coming from me, that's probably the best bet is getting a bedroll first. Um, like having that be your main priority. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Oh, do I risk it? Do I risk it? Because that looks like cloth on that bed there. If it's not, I'm going to scream. Yeah, it is. It's a parka. Okay. Okay. We're going to back up now. We're going to back up really slow because I'm really scared. Oh my god. I need to get out of the town. I need to like leave. So that I can craft this and then put it down where they can't get me. No, there is a guy right there. So I probably want to take like a wide... uh. What is it, birth with an E, B-R-T-H? I think that's the word. Why well, birth around him so that he doesn't notice me? I think I'm safe to crouch now, so it's a little bit faster. And then once I get away, I'm probably just gonna stand up. Yeah, okay, I can sprint. All right, so we did it. We have everything we actually need now, which is perfect. Okay, and then we can make a rag just in case I need it, but um, I'm gonna go put this down out here. Because I am scared out of my wits, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't know how far they can chase me, so I think I'm just gonna go here and place that down and claim it. Okay, so we, uh, oh, I'm in the ground. <laughs> we did it, we we did the thing, it's awesome. I got my little hammer, I got my backpack, I got, you know, my bedroll, which is basically the whole focus of this episode. But, um, we did it guys so thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed please be sure to leave a like comment favorite share and subscribe to become part of the new nation today and uh i'll see you guys in the next episode